So, what the? What's up, people? There's a really popular trick that I keep seeing a lot of the UK artists do. My real life in the dunya, but I'm living nice. Bought a chain, didn't see the price. I've seen with Chipmunk, Skepta use this as well. What it basically is, is using split screens and vibrations. So when the beat is there, that's when they execute. I'm a rider, in the range like a sports car. Step one, start off with a music track. Listen to that music track wherever you want the effects to go put markers on it it works best when it's a beat so listen out for that so if you ask them what do you do it's changing like as, as the beat is going it's like do you change do you change do you change do you, change, do you, change, do you, do you know what i'm saying so there you go just put the markers on the beat and then obviously just import your media yeah, just put every single clip that you want to use as part of this split screen there. Step two, drag your first video on top of the music video. So this is just going to be your base sort of clip. And then what you want to do is drag every other clip on the beginning of a marker. So every clip starts on a marker. Bang, marker, 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 like a little pyramid. Do you know what I mean? Little pyramid. So there you go, just pyramiding up there. Step three, look for an armor adjust layer and place it over the second clip. So just download my adjustment layers in the description, they're free. And you wanna drag them over the top of each clip except for that base clip. Step four, what you wanna do is crop out two thirds of your adjustment layers right side. But how do I work out two thirds? I'll tell you how. If you're shooting in 1080, you know that the width of the clip is 1920. So it's 1080 by 1920. Right, so you want to divide 1920 into three, right? So just Google that 1920 divided by three, 640, right? So each third is going to be 640 pixels. So if you're going to take away two thirds, it's going to be 1280. So what you want to do is move the slider, the right slider on inspector, 1280 pixels. There you go, and then you have a perfect third step five you want to move your video underneath on the transform inspector so you want to use that x-axis to move your clip to your desired position so what you want to do is duplicate this adjustment layer and put it on top of the next clip in the pyramid make sure that it's two-thirds off the left side is cut out so where you see the crop on the adjustment layer is on the right side you want to do the exact same on the left side and just like with the other one move the video underneath using the x-axis on transform so the next thing you want to do is actually duplicate the adjustment layer of the clip underneath to the next one in the pyramid again but this time you want to crop out both the left and the right um using those calculations that we made earlier. So crop in 640 on left, crop in 640 on the right as well. Step nine, once again, people, you wanna move using that transform X axis, the clip underneath to make sure that it features nicely in that little gap you've created. Because of the amount of beats there are in this particular sequence, you then now want to replace one of the, the three screens that you made. So duplicate whichever adjustment layer you, you want. If you want to re replace the middle one, then choose the one that you just did, where it's 640 crop, 640 crop. And then in this case, you don't even have to mess with the crop. You just go straight to the transform and move that video to where you want it to feature. What you want to do is make each layer um, a compound clip. So the clip and the adjustment layer, clip and adjustment layer, clip and adjustment layer, make all of those compound clips, right? Don't make them into one compound clip, make them into separate compound clips. Search in the search bar for armor jitters. For my armor jitter presets, I'm pretty sure, check in one of my other videos to see if I have made a tutorial on this before. Uh, but for the meanwhile, if you comment down below, then go to my Instagram. Whoever comments will get a free one. So if you want a free one, just comment down below and then go to my Instagram and say, hey, I've commented, can I have a free one? So get an armor jitter and select the blank jitter. That's gonna represent the vibrations that you're gonna put at the start of each compound clip. You're gonna put those at the start of each compound clip that you've made. Remember, don't stretch them out too long. They're aimed to be about, they're aimed to be two to three frames long. So if you really want it to be like a visible effect, you can stretch it to three frames. But if you just want it to be what it is, it should be two frames. Something you can do to spice it up is add keyframes so that it looks like it's coming down. So every column looks like it's coming down. You can just add keyframes at the start of the clip. So go to the start of the clip 
press that keyframe button and change that y, y variable so that it's higher, so that the clip is higher. And then you wanna go three frames in front and then put it to zero so that it comes down. And there you have it. That's how you do this uh, super cool crop effect that I've been seeing in music videos. For more crops like this, or like put on this mask, things gonna change that Jekyll and Hyde. We'll see young shorty milk the house full of free that I've seen in a bunch of music videos. I've actually released a crop effect bundle that you can download. It's underneath in the description box. So check out that crop bundle. Uh, check out the video for it as well. Yeah, hope you like it. We apply pressure, revel like a book car, force show the rover, force the record back, we up never look back, drop down uni, best solution for me. They say I need Jesus.